everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvie and in today's video I am going to be showing you how to layer and cut the butterfly SVG file on my website that you can find at www.thepapergardenwith2ends.com. You can use this file with any type of material but in this video specifically I will be using vinyl and you can be putting these butterflies on any type of material or canvas as long as it's a smooth surface. So in this video in particular I will be using a color changing cup and like I said, you can use any type of cup, any type of material like glass or a frame, as long as it has a smooth surface. So if you're interested in learning, please stay tuned and let's get started. To make this piece at home, you will need a computer or laptop, a Cricut Explorer Air or Cricut Maker, doesn't matter which generation. You will need a standard grip mat or a light grip mat. And you will need any cup or canvas with a smooth surface. In this particular video, I'll be using a Mana Color Changing Cup, which is equivalent to the same size as a Starbucks cold cup. And you will need some permanent vinyl. And in this video, I'll be using Oracle 651 and Tech Rep Craft as a holographic vinyl. And lastly, you will need anything to hold your cup in place. And in this video, I'll be using an ankle weight. And you will also need a weeding tool. And I am using a dental tool. And now we can get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you can either click the link in the description of this video and go directly to the file, or you can go to www.thepapergardenwith2ends.com and then you're going to click DIY and Tools and head over to Digital Files. Once you get to Digital Files, you're going to click Single Butterfly 1 SVG for Personalized Layered Cups. And select that. And once you do that, then you can add this to your cart or purchase it directly clicking buy it now. And again, you can either click the link in the description of this video and directly end up on this page or follow the steps that I just showed you. So you're going to open up a new project in Cricut Design Space and then you're going to upload the SVG file that you just purchased. If you're doing the exact same project that I'm doing, which is either a Starbucks venti cup or a mana color changing cup, you can change the width to two inches and I specifically like about seven butterflies on each of my cups. Um, I also cut out eight butterflies just in case I make any mistakes while weeding. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click right click and duplicate it or you can click control copy on your keyboard and then click control V on your keyboard to paste it. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, and you know what, let's just make ten of them in case I weed a couple and mess up. Now I am going to click make it and turn on my maker machine. On this screen here you're going to see the butterflies lined up like this and also the back of the butterflies for the other layer of them and you can select any color that you'd like. This here shows a purple background, but for your vinyl, you can actually select any color that you want. And usually for the butterfly here, I go for a black outline. And then you're gonna click continue. You're gonna, but before you click continue, you're gonna see here how large you need your piece of vinyl that you're gonna be working with, which is going to be about three and a half inches by 11 inches. And then click continue. Ensure your maker's on and connected, or your Cricut um, Explore Air, and then click the desired project that you're working with, uh, base material, sorry, and mine is vinyl, and then you can load your mat. So I have my cutting board out here, and this vinyl is 12 inches, so all I need to do is just make sure that this goes to three and a half, and I'm going to cut that. Now I'm going to grab my mat and I'm going to stick this piece of vinyl onto the mat. It ensures it stays down and once it's stuck on we're going to load it into the Cricut machine. Alright so the computer was all set up and you can see here that the loading button is flashing so it's ready to be loaded in and then once it's ready you can click the go button because it is ready for takeoff.
And you can see over here on the screen, it is at 4% as it's cutting. And then down over here, it is still going. 20 minutes later. Okay, so it's ready now, you pull it out and bring it over here. Now I'm gonna peel this off and we're going to cut out the background for these butterflies. So this here is Tech Wrap Craft in Opal. You can use any vinyl that you please, any color. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. We're just gonna cut it at 3.5 inches. And then I'm going to slice it and have it here like this. Have your mat again. And stick it on to the mat. Like that. Now you will see over on your screen, it'll move down to the next canvas that it's going to cut. And this material, I'm going to switch it over to adhesive foil for my holographic vinyl. And then I'm going to load it in. All right, load. And click go. Later. All right, you can unload it and you have your butterflies here. And now we can peel this right on off. Now you're just going to cut it and separate them all. And now you can grab your butterfly and grab your weeding tool and start picking away at the weeds. I like to wear a nail polish holder on my fingers to put all of the pieces of vinyl into them just like this. There you go, now you have this all finished. So now you can just grab your transfer tape like this, and then grab one of your butterflies that you weeded, and another one of your butterflies here for the background, and put this on over top, and just press hard so it sticks, and then peel. So the next thing you're gonna do is we're going to layer this over top of this butterfly. So the secret to this, to getting it on perfectly each time is to line up the antennas first with the antennas of the body of the butterfly. And usually whenever you do it like that, it guarantees the line up of a perfect layered butterfly. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And there you go, layered perfectly. And then first things first, you are going to take it off and you can actually just peel it nicely like this, very slowly and so then it sticks, um, so it stays stuck on to the piece of paper behind. And don't pull it too quickly because there's a chance that you can actually rip off the antennas or rip off a part of the wings. And there you have it, your perfect layered butterfly. For this cup, I am going to be adding a name to it. So I cut out her beautiful name, which is Kareen. And now I'm just going to peel it and weed it off like this. And then I'm going to grab my weeding tool and just pull off the parts that don't need to be there. So I'm going to be using an ankle weight to hold the cup that I'm using and for this particular video today I'm going to be using a green color changing cup. You can use any cup as long as it has a smooth surface. You don't even have to use a cup for these, butterf um, these vinyl butterflies, you can just use anything that has a smooth surface.
First things first, I'm going to grab a napkin and grab some oil, I mean some oil, sorry, some alcohol to wipe it clear. But I'm actually going to take this lid off, place it over here to the side and just clean this cup up. So it removes any oils and it doesn't stop it from sticking anything on whenever I um, stick the butterflies on. So I'm going to grab this transfer tape here and we're going to use it to stick Kareen's name onto her cup. So we're going to stick this like this. You can definitely use a larger piece of transfer tape, but I'm just using a scrap piece of transfer tape that I have sitting in my leftover bin. And now you can peel it like this off. Just make sure you peel it slowly so you don't rip anything and you ensure everything is stuck on. You can definitely use a squeegee scraper tool, but you don't have to. And I like to personally stick the name on first and then the butterflies on after. All right, so you can stick the name on however you please. I'm just gonna be choosing it vertically like this. Push it right on there to make sure it sticks. And then grab the end of your transfer tape and peel it right off like that. Now that you have that on, you're going to grab all of your butterflies and you're just gonna stick them on the exact same way I did earlier with the name. So you stick it onto the transfer, I mean, you take the transfer tape and you stick it onto the butterfly, you peel it, and then you stick however many you desire across the cup that you're working with. So I like to stick them on at random spots and it doesn't really matter how you like it, it's just, Sorry, it doesn't really matter how many you have, it just depends on your preference or your client's preference. So now what you're going to do is you're going to grab a heat gun or a um, hair dryer to help seal your vinyl onto your cup. And if you're using a plastic cup, make sure that you're moving the heat gun or the um, hair dryer at a quick pace because you also don't want to warp your cup as it is made out of plastic. So as you do this, just ensure you are moving quickly. And there you have it. You have your butterfly color changing cup. You don't have to use these vinyl butterflies on um, cups in particular. You can use it on anything as long as it has a smooth surface. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below and I will try my best to get back to you. And stay tuned for more tutorial videos and vlogs. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Bye guys.